Well, I like to use the term of the global brain because it describes what is currently happening. Right? When I take my mobile out, that's my brain extender. I have phone numbers in here, information, data records, banking, it's all in here, and that's okay. Right? But if I take this brain extender and I connect it to a supercomputer in the cloud that runs a million times as fast as my own machine, and it sucks up a hundred billion records from other places, right? then this brain extender becomes a giant opener into a superhuman universe. And that is what all the internet companies and the platforms are working on. We're going to connect to this huge brain of information that will be both multimedia, 4K sound video, instant communications, instant knowledge. I mean, this is what we have always dreamed of. It's extremely tempting. So the global brain of Facebook, Baidu, Alibaba, Amazon, Apple, to some degree, Alphabet, Google, and so on, and IBM Watson will make us uh, basically want to be connected to that all the time. This global brain will be extremely powerful, extremely beneficial, but also extremely addictive. And I think it's also something that we have to regulate, we have to understand what it does, and we need to be able to have our own brain. If we have the global brain, why do, why do we need to use our own? Right? No more language translation, no more writing with that by hand, right? no more understanding, we just outsource all of that. Right? That would be a very bad development because we would basically become de-skilled. Right? We would offload our capabilities, unlearn them, forget them, like a pilot forgets how to fly because the, the automatic pilot does it. Right? So those are concerns about the global brain. I think we can't just allow those companies to create a global brain that essentially becomes a substitute of our real world. We don't want Silicon Valley or China to be mission control for humanity.